I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to pull up some horse sale ads off the internet and I'm going to talk about the ad itself. I'm not going to critique the horse. I'm going to talk about the ad from the standpoint of if I was looking at that horse to buy, what questions it would raise, what I would want to ask the owner, and from the seller standpoint, what could be done with that ad to make that ad better, better represent the horse. So let's get started. Let's talk about a couple of ads. This is a lovely horse with lots of personality. He's a Hanoverian thoroughbred stallion out of, or he was by a Hanoverian thoroughbred stallion out of a mare that was a percher on POA cross. Very athletic and game for most anything. He has fox hunted, competed in green divisions of local hunter shows, and also combined training shows. Under discipline skills, it says eventing, fox hunter, hunt seat equitation, hunter, hunter under saddle, hunter jumper, and sport horse. I really like in this ad that they are selling the horse as what he is. They are demonstrating what the horse is and selling him what he is. They're not selling him on the standpoint of what this horse could be. Uh, from that point, I'm saying this horse could be a good show horse for this student or this horse needs this student. They are saying what this horse is and I really like that from a seller standpoint you're showing the horse and saying this is what the horse is and leaving it up to the owner to decide is this horse the right horse for the potential buyer so they have a video up here of the horse competing at a show i really like that they are showing this video without clipping without cutting from one thing to another They show the parts where the horse is up close to the camera and they show when the horse is far away from the camera. It is a continuous video. It's showing all the good and all the bad. They are showing the horse as he is. I really like that. When I'm looking for a horse, that's what I want to see. I want to see what the horse is and then leave it up to me to decide is this the horse for me or for the buyer that I'm looking for came down in the wrong lead there, fixed the, his lead. I'm really glad that they left that in. That, that's important. That, that's the kind of thing that I want to see. Now, as far as improving this video, it is a minute and 16 seconds long. Now, that's, that's a little, you could have made a longer video and done some clips of other shows also. I can see in the pictures down here, that the horse has shown in dressage. It did a really good job showing that video of the horse showing, but I want to see more videos of more shows. And let me know that this is not just a one-time video, that the horse is consistently shows and consistently does well at the shows. I'd also like to see some still shots of the horse that shows his confirmation a little bit. I know they're, show, they're selling this horse as a show horse, but I still would like to see the confirmation. In the, the video, I did get a really good picture of how the horse moves, and the horse looked very sound in his movement, so I don't worry too much about his confirmation, but I just like to see what his legs look like, what his feet look like. It looks really good looking horse. That's the only still picture that they have there. So I'd like to see a picture of more showing his legs, showing his back, good picture of his head. I think that would have stepped up the level of, of selling this horse. Now I don't see anywhere on this ad where it says how old this horse is. I didn't see it down here in the comments and I don't see it anywhere here in the description. So if I was to contact the seller about this horse, that's one of the questions that I would ask. I would ask how old he is. And it would not bother me if this is an older horse. I would actually expect him to be somewhere in his teens maybe, just from the, the pictures and how seasoned this horse is. But I'd like to, if I was a potential buyer, I'd want to know how old he is. Another thing that I would ask if I was a potential buyer, is how many times a week this horse is being ridden currently 
if he's ridden four days a week, three days a week, and how long each day he's being ridden. Uh, I would, my thought process there is I would wonder about his soundness in relation to his age. Uh, it looks like a very nice horse. I, my concern would be soundness. And I, I don't always recommend uh, a vet check, but with the, the price that they're asking for this horse, I would get a vet check. And I would pay, pay a lot of attention to his, his, his lower front legs and his upper back legs. That's what I would really concentrate on um, if I was getting a vet check on this horse. Now let's look at another horse and let's see what they say about this horse. Under comments, this gelding is quite safe and has a sound mind. We have raised this guy. He has a couple months of riding on him. He tends to be more cautious and laid back than jumpy and scared. He goes willingly and is not a poke. He has plenty of experience on the road or on the trail as well as in the arena. That raises the question right there. He has a couple of months of riding, but he has plenty of experience on the road and trail riding, that seems like contradictory right there. If I was the seller, I would be, I would correct that. And if I was the buyer, I would definitely ask about that. Uh, it could be that he was ponied a lot out on the road and trail riding, I don't know. But uh, to, to me personally, ponying is, is not as valuable as him being ridden out on the road or traveling. So let's go on. Uh, as well as in the arena, he goes out by himself or with others. He is friendly and not dominant. He is used to being stalled as well as in the pasture. He is soft and supple, picks up all gates and has a good stop. He responds well to your seat and to leg pressure. This guy looks good, a good mind, and great ride for anyone. That seems like another con contradiction right there. He's a great ride for anyone, but he's only had a couple of months of riding. That raises a question right there. It, and it could be that he's only had a couple of months and it could be a really nice horse, but I, anything that says he has a couple of months, I definitely would not put great ride for anyone. And I'm not going to put a beginner rider on a horse that's only had a couple of months riding. Might be a nice horse, that just seems contradictory to me. Uh, if I was the seller, I, I, would, I, would, I would reword those comments. And if I was the buyer, it would definitely raise some red flags with me. So now when we look at the, the, the pictures, they don't have any video of this guy. Supposedly he's had a couple of months of riding. Said right there, a couple of months of riding, experience on the road, the trail, in the arena. I would expect to see video up here that, to substantiate what was said in the comments. It's definitely a good looking horse. There's foal date, is uh, 2019. It's a four year old horse. Good looking horse, and it's possible that he has had a fair amount of riding time, but uh, it only said he had a couple of months. Now, this picture right here, looks strange to me to me that neck doesn't match this body so it personally i mean he's he's pretty because of color but personally this doesn't appeal to me but that's a matter of opinion you look at the horse on this side it looks like a totally different horse than when you look on that side it's kind of odd it might just be the way he's standing but that sure looks odd when you look between those two pictures but uh he's a good looking horse and he might be a nice riding horse but there's there's a lot of questions right there that, that, that would worry me as a buyer so if i was the seller of this horse i would definitely get those fixed uh straightened up and the price that they're asking for him doesn't seem out of line for what he is. It says right here he's a quarter horse. If he was a quarter horse that's AQHA registered, I would expect to see a copy of his papers right here. I would want to know what's in his pedigree. And they, they say he's a gelding. They say you can't ride papers. But from 
from my standpoint, he's four years old. Those papers are going to tell me a lot about what this horse is going to be. Says he's 14-3 right now. He could be an early growing horse. He could be a late growing horse. Is he, is he halter bred? Is he cow bred? Is he running bred? All those questions I would want to know to decide what direction to go in with this horse. Would would I be looking at this horse as a reining horse prospect, cow horse, uh, versatility ranch horse? All those questions I would want to see those papers to, to answer. If this horse is by two running bred horses, his mama and daddy were both running horses, it's not likely he's going to make a reining horse. And by the same token, uh, if, if he's by two reining horses, he's not likely going to make a very good jumping horse. And so I would want to see those papers right there. So if I was selling this horse, there needs to be video up here that would substantiate what was written in the comments and I would also want to see the papers. So let's look at another one. So this horse right here, fold date 2015, so this is an eight year old horse, gray, says temperament two of 10. I don't see a video here. These pictures look more like paintings. They look a little over touched up to me. I mean, it's okay to kind of clean a picture up a little bit. That's a pretty good looking picture there. It's okay to clean a picture up a little bit, but don't over, don't over doctor on it. Let's see what the comments of this horse is. 14 hand mare, eight years old, gentle natured horse that would be great for any level of rider. She would make a great kids horse or a gentle safe trail horse. She has a nice handle, easy to ride. Sugar is happy to go anywhere you ask. She's willing and happy to do whatever is asked of her. She's not a deadhead and really willing to go down the trail if asked. However, she is easy to slow down and go whatever speed she is asked. She stops easy, reins around nicely, will leave the barn alone without a problem. She's been used all around, all around the ranch, ridden in rough country. She's sure-footed and doesn't spook easy. Nice, relaxed horse with a sweet personality. Excellent ground manners, easy to catch, good with her feet, loads nicely. Fun to ride and has a nice, smooth, trotting look. Gets along with everyone in the barn, healthy, happy, would make a great horse. Sounds like a really nice horse. Sounds like a very nice horse. But there's really no, there's no video. I mean, the pictures show them out, out trail riding. But I want to see video up here to back up what was said in the comments. And the next thing I want to comment about is this price. For a horse that, that's that broke and that nice for what is in the comments, that seems a little on the cheap side for the price. Um, and it may be that horses in New Mexico were going for a little bit cheaper than horses in my area. But for a good using horse like what they're talking about down here, for a good using horse in my part of the country, they bring more money than that. So, in my opinion, this could be a really nice buy from a buyer's standpoint, but you're going to need to do your homework to see that the horse really is what it, it said it is down here in the comments. And that's my question about the horse. I, if I was the seller of this horse, I think if they posted some good video of what this horse is doing, probably could get more money for it. But I don't know the horse. That may or may not be correct. So let's look at one more. This one is a uh, Gypsy Banner Gelding. Don't see the full date up here. Let's go down and see what the comments are. I usually go down to the comments first. I want to read the comments and then I want to see what else is said about it.
Okay. Signif is a magnificent example of a gypsy vanner. He has it all feathers for days, long, luxurious mane and tail, cute fuzzy ears, beautiful apple bottom butt. He has a sweet disposition of a done that been there kind of guy, and 98% of the time he has perfect, he's a perfect trail buddy that you could wish for. 98% makes me kind of scratch my head, but let's keep riding. Point him in a direction, alone or in a group, and off to go. Through the mud, on rock, up, down, inclines, and in bush, through town, he's a trooper. He's not a beginner horse as he has bucked twice under saddle since I've owned him. I really like that they say that right there. No horse is perfect, and I expect to find a hole someplace. And I really respect a seller that says where the hole is. Just because a horse has a hole doesn't mean it's not a nice horse. There, there's a, a, a rider, an owner for every horse. And I respect that this owner is telling me what the hole is. That tells me that she wants this horse to go to someone that can manage this horse and would be a good home for this horse. Just because he's not perfect doesn't mean he's not perfect for you. There we go. That's exactly what I was just saying. Really sweet boy with impeccable ground manners, a goofy kind of puppy dog attitude with a sensitive side. Far too nice to sit in the field. He, he sounds like it. Great to trail, it loads like a dream. Awesome for the vet and farrier, no issue. I really like this write up so far. Of course, I haven't ridden the whole thing yet. But I really like this. I, I think this is very well written. Very good description of the horse. And it seems very honest. This, this, I like what I'm reading so far. Registered Gypsy Manor stands 14 1, 12 years old. There's the age right there I was looking for. Currently living outside in a small herd with three mares 24 7, but has been stall kept. Barefoot with good hooves. Healthy and sound, up to date on shop, cognizant and health certificate. This is a perfect opportunity for some patience and ability to scoop up an amazing boy. There are so few well broke, handsome gypsy horses on the market right now. My loss will be someone's gain. The price reflects the issues I've had, but I'm open to negotiating to the right home. Come meet this adorable fuzzball. Pre purchase exam welcome located in Indiana. So to me, this is a very well read out, written out description. I really like that. She has given a really good description of what the horse is, the good and the bad. I, when I'm looking for a horse, this is what I want to see in the description. Now let's go back up to the video and the pictures and let's see exactly what that shows. Let's see if that backs up what was said in the description down there. So here she is with a, a park with the horse. The horse seems pretty indifferent but attentive. That's what I want to see. The horse raised his head and looked when she threw the park up there. I'm fine with that. I want the horse aware of what's going on and act like it understands and is okay with it. Now, when the, the talk right there, I, I like what I see. Now, there was a cut right there in the clip. I wish she would not have done that cut. Right here when it goes from the tarp to the whip. What I wish she would have done when she done this video is had the whip somewhere in the arena and then gone and picked it up and started working the whip. That would have made a much more impressive video. It's possible that she's already been working for five minutes around this horse with the whip. Looking at the horse, that might not be the case. There's a good chance it's not the case. But from a standpoint of making a video that really reflects the horse, that's not a good place to make a cut. Doesn't mean you can't cut a video and splice it together. But when your cut should be different situations riding, and by that I mean right here you started recording in this arena, 
whatever goes on in this arena it needs to be one continuous cut now you can make a cut and go from here to riding in the trail trail riding or make a cut to go into uh, in the barn in the wash rack cuts like that are okay but when you're working in a space like this that should be a continuous video without making any cuts again he's reacting to the whip that's okay I'm okay that he's reacting to it now here he, she's blowing him with a, uh, a leaf blower uh, being a gypsy banner, that's probably pretty common. I blow mine off with the uh, leaf blower, it's pretty common. So uh, it doesn't surprise me that he's used to that. And, and that was a good situation, let me back up. That was a good situation of what I would consider an acceptable cut, where she went from, let me back up, there. She went from working in the pen to blowing him off with the blower. That is, that's an acceptable cut. There's nothing wrong with that. The whole video doesn't have to be without any cuts, but you need to think about where those cuts are. So let me jump ahead. We know his leaf blower broke. Let's see what comes next. Here's some riding. Moving in a trot. Looks like a little bit of a scrambly trot and he loped off into the wrong lead. There is our bucking issue right there. So, just from my experience, I am about 90% sure why this horse bucked those two times, and that can be fixed. A little bit of a scrambly trot and lope off into the wrong lead. Doesn't bother me that it was a scrambly trot. Doesn't bother me that it's in the wrong lead. And right there, the horse broke dead again. Right before the video cut out. Right there. And then look back off in the right lead again. And now, that's where it, a minute and 21 seconds into the video, and it is a black screen for the next one minute and 21 seconds. So she probably is not uh, very experienced with making videos, which is which is okay. But I would have not left this black screen. And it'd been nice to see some more videos showing his confirmation, showing him in a wash rack, uh, some more riding perhaps in the pasture. There's some pictures down here. She's, there's some beautiful pictures trail riding. This is a really nice horse, and she has quite a few pictures. And, and, and it might it might just be how this website does, but it look the pictures look a little over touched up. And I'm gonna open up the picture. It don't, it's not too bad, but it just looks a little over touched up, which is okay. I want to see maybe not so grainy, but I want to see pictures like this when I'm looking at the horse. I want to see pictures of the horse doing what he's being exhibited or being demonstrated to do. And then I want to see confirmation pictures. He is pretty, but there's really not much here. That picture doesn't match. That picture has the saddle on. I was trying to see what he looks like from the side on his confirmation, but I really, the picture's not coming up for some reason. Out with his group of horses showing us that he gets along with other horses. The picture there's not showing up either. That's not necessarily the seller's fault. Coming inside. I would like to see some more confirmation pictures. The the ad it looks like a really nice horse. I really like how it's written down here in the comments. But I the, this horse could have used a little bit better video, a little bit more video. So that's uh, four horses that we've just looked at the ads. And I've given you my opinion of the ads, 
and what questions that I would ask or what concerns I would have if I was the buyer of any of these horses or a potential buyer. So I don't know anything about those four horses. That's just four horses that I found for sale on the internet. I'm not saying any of them are, are good or not good. I'm just talking about the presentation and how I think the presentation could be made better or if I was a buyer what questions I would ask when I went to look at the horses if I was interested in the horses if you like this type of video let me know put, put a message in the comments down below and I'll if, if it seems to be something that people like I'll do more of them and if I do I will work on getting my audio better I'm not used to recording here in my office so my audio isn't really set up for that until next time thank you for watching